Welcome to Social Allo Ministries, where we are committed to glorifying God while exposing the devil. This is another relationship reality check. If a person falsifies another person's information and puts him or her down as being a co-signer and alone, that constitutes fraud. Yet, that is what many people do with relationships. They put it together, slap the Lord's name on it to make it seem as if the relationship is off and from the Lord. In some cases, they call those relationships a covenant. A covenant, seemingly a godly covenant based on fraud, deception, coercion, manipulation, the list continues. That is what I call, and even the Bible calls it, in Ezekiel 22, mixing the holy with the profane. See, when there's a mixture of holy and profane, do not put the Lord's name on it and call it godly. Or else you may be in for a rude awakening if you take that to the Lord's court. The Lord gave some commandments in Exodus 20. And I'll share a few of those with you, with you, especially if you want to call something that is a mixture of holy and profane as being something off and from the Lord. The Lord is pure truth. There is no evil in him. There is no deception in him. No manipulation in him. Exodus 20. In verse 7, the Lord said, Thou shalt not take the name of thy Lord, thy God, Wow. Let me back up. So again, in this relationship reality check, it is so blasphemous to try to mix something that is holy with, is, with something that's profane and then put God's name on it to make it seem as if it is something, something that he has sanctioned, something he has ordained. Exodus 20, verse 7, the Lord said, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Do not use the Lord's name in vain. If something has impurities in there, that is not from the Lord. Then in verse um, 15, the Lord said, Thou shalt not steal. In some cases, this was going on in a relationship. One person may know that the Lord has ordained someone for someone else, and that person will try to steal that individual. That is stealing. And in verse 16, it coincides with what the Lord said in verse 7. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. And then in verse 17, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife or husband, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, donkey, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. In some cases, people get in relationships because they covet. They covet what does not belong to them, and they know it. And even when it becomes painfully obvious that the person they are with or trying to get with is not for them, they will still continue. Again, I call it a mixture of the holy and the profane. And just because you put the Lord's name on something does not make it of God. Similarly to how people put titles on themselves. Or they may even have a godly title, but they are out of favor with the Lord. They are doing ungodly things. That does not make them of God. And in 2 Corinthians 6, verse 14, we're also reminded of this. 
and it comes down to relationships too. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Also, it is possible for two believers to be unequally yoked. So like when it comes to a God-ordained relationship, or ordained relationship, the Lord will ensure that those believers are equally yoked, that they're going in the right direction. Because it's also possible where two believers, they may be equally yoked as regarding how they approach their worship of the Lord, but they have different destinies. And if they come together, one person will have to forsake his or her destiny in order to help the other fulfill that destiny. So it's very important that the Lord ordains relationships. And it will be evident in its fruit. And it continues. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Light with darkness. We also reminded that Satan and also his messengers may come across as being angels of light. That is what happens sometimes in relationships. A person comes across as being godly from the Lord, and then that person starts manifesting. They can tell that person is of the devil. And a lot of times those are individuals who will quickly say that God hates divorce because they want to keep a person in bondage, keep a person from fulfilling his or her God-ordained destiny. Again, just because he slapped the Lord's name on something does not mean it is off and from him. In some cases, it is outright fraud, blaspheming the Holy Lord. And what concord hath Christ with Belial, the devil? Yes, there are many cases where a God-loving, God-fearing Christian comes across a child of the devil, sometimes someone who's masquerading, but then becomes obvious that that person does not love God. Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, as God had said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. You'd be surprised. God hates divorce. But there are times where if he has a calling on a person, and especially if the person gets involved with a messenger of Satan, he will remove that messenger of Satan from the person's life, one way or another. One way or another. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Where it says, touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. There are times when Christians... You get deceived into going to a relationship with someone who is not off and from the Lord. And you just feel the separation between you and God. And you know you have to do something to get back to him. If you're a Christian and you got deceived into a relationship where you truly don't belong in. Seek the Lord for his guidance regarding what he wants you to do. Seek the Lord for his guidance regarding what he wants you to do. And when he tells you to do something, do it. <laughs>